Hey there, everyone, and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls of Guild and Coin. Um, if you missed our, if you missed the first video, I'll be sure to link it in the description below. Um, so rather than kind of bogging us down with more of a recap, uh, let's just get straight to it. Um, so all of you are currently on a boat. Um, you've managed to fight through the uh, fight through the melee and at this point you're faced with a question which direction do you row um you can row toward the east if you'd like um to follow the coastline to the west to follow the coastline or you can attempt to go toward the ship that is um further out at sea can i make a suggestion mm -hmm. Perhaps we should row gently down the stream. But but will you do it merrily? Yes, because life is but a dream. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> life is but a dream. Wonderful. <laughs> I'm um, glad we could have that interaction. So as you guys are rowing, those of you who did end up expending some magicka, um, this will count as a short rest. Um, so you can regain some of your, uh, some of your lost magicka. Um, I don't remember what the, I think the rate is based off of your class. Um, but I'm just going to say you regain magicka up to, uh, up to, uh, the equivalent of your, uh, uh of your spellcasting abilities modifier. I only um. get one back. <laughs> Can I make a side comment? Mm -hmm. um, in regards to what Bob is saying, that's mm -hmm. quitter talk, because if we go on the ship, we can just murder them. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> Can the short rest also go for, like, people with stamina, like myself? <laughs> for everyone. Uh, I, I believe it recharges uh, your stamina as well, yes. Cool. <laughs> I kill indiscriminately. I don't follow <laughs> the rules. <laughs> Guess who's the better sailor and warrior? <laughs> not me. Also not me. Uh, they will sink this tiny boat, so... We saw what yeah. one tiny red guard can do. I don't want to buy a whole ship of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's quitter talk. Why don't we just go along shore and just hope for the best? Yeah, pretty. I mean, that sounds like a better option. At least we'll have like a something to fall on, you know. <laughs> like in case like the something happens to us on our way to the ship or something, <laughs> and we get overthrown. Yeah. So then, in that case, do you guys head east or west? West. <laughs> <laughs> west. Um, I kind of want to say west. I also want to say west. Because go west, young meow. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to the cat. Okay. Which cat? Okay, so west. <laughs> the cat that spoke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, peer pressure, peer Ooh, pressure. Burn. Go to west. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um, Zira, are you down for going west as well? If you're not down, you better get on another boat. Okay. So you guys Feel start. Free to object if you want. Feel free to object if you want. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys start rowing your boat toward uh, toward the left, toward the west, um, and as you do so, you suddenly start hearing screams coming from the ship. Um, and you guys see fl you see you guys see bursts of flame shoot out from uh, from upon the decks, and flames just start erupting from various areas on the ship. And luckily, you guys are far enough away uh, to be away from the debris that suddenly starts raining down from the ship as it bur as it absolutely explodes, and you see you see just this ball of flame rise up from the ship and head toward the mainland. Um, wow. The I ship continues to sink. Listen to me more often. <laughs> um. So, you row a bit westward, and this affords you all the opportunity to finally, um, 
outside of all this conflict, be able to talk to one another and try to get to know one another better. <laughs> Brett's ship is on fire and going down. It exploded. Well, it's a good thing we're not going on that ship. And you're pretty sure it was no normal fire. But, like, so, uh, Breton ships are are fairly durable, uh, for one. And for two, like, a normal mage would not be able to make a ship blow up like that. Not usually. So... Unless you're Katie. Yeah. <laughs> not unless you're Katie. Um, so chances are whatever happened on that ship um, was possibly Daedric, maybe, or or something oh. else. Um, you're not sure, but you you do know that it's some sort of very powerful magic that was at work. All right, I take a slip of I I take a slip of my ass and say uh, everyone, how's everyone holding up? I'm holding down. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fair enough. I take another sip of my drink. I think it's time for some introductions. Hi. My name is Zoe. My friends call me Zoe. And my enemies call me No. Stop, give that back. But that's for a different time. Nice to meet you. I'm Jewel Neck. Jewel Neck? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Jewel Neck. Jewel. Nice to meet you too. What? Jewel Neck. What? Yeah. And I take a sip of my drink again. But not normal explodey boom. Okay. Thank you for your description. I was worried. <laughs> I understand the context of the explodey boom. Now I get it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, my name is Lilith. It's great to meet you guys. Glad we have such a nice sightseeing tour going on here. That was quite a beautiful little display there. I like to collect things, um, preferably things that don't belong to me. Um, hey. but I forced to belong to me. Uh, Sounds about right. So that's it. I also kind of want to describe my character. Um, like, he is like an emerald ish green. He also has a goatee, too, and like a single earring on his left ear. And he has like, um, black hair too and but you have like a hair that it's, it's like medium length it's like not too long for not too long but not too short it's like a decent amount it's kind of wavy too huh? dude i'm cutting out <laughs> oh no <laughs> i think i think it's amazing because raven sounds great for me josh cuts out all the time yeah i mean yeah. and that's I, i've got Fairly shitty equipment, but um, Robo Reven. Yeah, it's it's probably Robo Reven on her end. Yeah. Yeah. I'm on my phone. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was like trying to describe my character. Reven is goth AF. <laughs> Okay. How does how does your character look, uh, Lilith? What does she look like? You know, I haven't thought that far ahead. So, um, I don't know. I don't know much about Elder Scrolls anything, so it's hard for me to come up with stuff on the spot with prior knowledge. Most Dark Elves have, like, red eyes, um, gray to black skin. Um, hair can be just about uh, just about any natural color. It's dumb. Red, uh, red hair is particularly rare. No, I'm gonna have black hair. Okay. Angular elven features. Yep. Uh, real foods, after all. Yeah. How about Zoe? I am a dark gray tabby cat. Oh. <laughs> I'm so I've got kind of like raggish clothes going on. Cute. Really black. Got a tiny hood. Little holes. Do you have toe beans? Yes, I have toe beans. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part. 
<laughs> it sure is. But only the toeiest of beans. Whoa. <laughs> Most quality. <laughs> you gotta ask for the consent first. You gotta ask for a consent. You shake hands. Snoop boops will happen. Snoop boops will happen. Tashtar. Tashtar, what do you look like? Um. Is Tashtar is a gray Khajiit? Oh. Just, <laughs> just for context, um, Zoe and Tashtar are different breeds of Khajiit. Um, different subraces. Yeah. So Tashtar is your typical, uh, your typical Khajiit that you would see in Elder Scrolls. Dude, imagine like a Siamese cat is Khajiit. Imagine a Whitney, be... a Whitney cat as Khajiit. That would be adorable. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So, you guys are kind of rowing blindly westward. Would you like to formulate a plan as to what to do and where to land? Does it well, we tried to find or... shelter. I don't remember <laughs> why I was put in jail. <laughs> Does anyone remember why they were in that jail? Well, I kind of do a lot of things, so um, it could be pretty much anything. I personally like kind of blame my friends who got me into it in the first place. You know, I keep trying to tell them I don't want to go back to jail. Oh my god! Man, why were you in jail before? What they did before? Um, a lot of, well, a lot of stealing, a lot of, um, so occasionally, uh, well, it, it happened one time, um, we did a drug raid one time, but, you know, <laughs> but we have to make the money somehow. <laughs> well. <clears throat> but just like mostly a lot of schemes, I kind of. That's a good huh? point. It's yeah. only illegal if you get caught. Just don't get caught. Well, sad well, sadly, my friends weren't really the smartest people. So I caught a lot. Why is Any that their fault? Not your fault. Yeah, well, but I was still involved with them. I was actually trying to help them out. <laughs> Sounds like excuses. <laughs> oh no. Oh, Zyra, what's your Zyra? Introduce yourself. All we know is she wants to touch the toe beans. <laughs> she wants to touch the toe beam. The minute she like chills on the bone permission. <laughs> non consent toe beam touching. Oh, that's my toe <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, man. Calm the fuck down. She said she's gonna do it while she's asleep. She did. Yeah. She did. And I don't like that plan. It's a bad plan. <laughs> that was totally out of here. I'll put in quotes when she actually talks to you. Okay. Super Make it easy. Um, <laughs> so, while you guys are all giving your, like, discussions, she's kind of keeping her eyes out for, like, any possible threat. And then kind of turns and looks at you for a moment and says that you may call me Zura. And that is all that you may know. And she goes back to keeping watch. Great. Plain okay. and mysterious. I see. I see. All right. I should have done that. I would have looked so well. All right, edgy, all right, edgy teen, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we'll just like try and like see like you know which where the safest place is really. <laughs> Why were you guys in jail? I don't know. Were we all in jail for the same reasons or different reasons? <laughs> I'd hope I could remember if it was the same reasons. <laughs> I don't even know. I also those. may have like gone to a fight with the guy like very, very badly because um 
He called me something that I did not approve of. What did he call you? I don't want to talk about it. But what if I ask really nicely? I'm still not going to talk really about quiet. it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still not going to talk about it. Wow. What if you tell me with your mind? I was placed there to silence me and what I know. Okay. <laughs> Where are your guys' parents, by the way? <laughs> I don't have any parents. Where are your parents? They don't have any parents. Do you That's have parents? Actually, they didn't. know what you're to? Actually, then, and take a sip of my drink. <laughs> Wait, what is your drink, Raven? Rum, or I think it's whiskey. Actually, I don't know. How are you, how yeah, you, you said you said whiskey. <laughs> yeah, okay. After it's, every sentence, well, it, you're like, I take a sip of my drink. Raven's dead. Well, it's it's a small sip, really. It's not very <laughs> much. Like my, you can tell, like with the glass I hold, I'm holding in my hand, like, which I've been really? holding the whole day. Um, that it's still like it's still not empty or anything. Bitch, have you sipped whiskey before? Come on. Zyra, you're like kin brothers or like friend brothers? My brothers and allies were slain. They shall be avenged. Well, sorry about that. <laughs> I'm assuming ally. Allies. Your blood. My blood. blood. Mm. I could I get could the blood. What about your one. I don't have anything <laughs> going on right now. Okay, well, my kin. All right, well, good talk. <laughs> good talk. Right. And we keep ro rolling, I guess. Yeah. Rolling, <clears throat> row, 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 row our boat. Dominating. Dominate and dominating your view on the left hand side. Um. The land rises up into a massive uh, mountain from which lava and smoke uh, comes pouring out from the top. Um, the ashfall has blown out over the sea, and as you row, uh, little like bits of ash fall like snow into the waters and onto the and onto you and onto the boats, um, oh. and. As you continue, as you continue rowing, you eventually see a spot on the coastline where it looks like somebody had at one point made camp. Um, though there's no fire next to it or anything like that, it may have been abandoned. Mm -hmm. So, should we go to the abandoned camp? Looks what do you like guys think? Free camp spot. Sweet. What? Steal their free stuff. stuff. All right, yeah. Jumping. Right. <laughs> no, we're not jumping. We're just gonna throw to the shore real quick. I'm gonna jump. Ira, do you know who killed your your brothers? An ally? Josh, I'm mm -hmm. jumping out of the boat. <laughs> okay, you jump out of the boat. You start Please. swimming. Swim, lady. Bye. Do I reach the <laughs> thing or do I drown? You drown. You don't. Drown. Yeah. Um. But as you swim, uh -huh. you suddenly feel something take a bite out of your out of your uh, leg. Out of my leg. Something's <laughs> biting at your leg. No, it took oh, a God. bite out of my leg. A small Is bite. My leg gone? I'm just, uh, <laughs> it's a leg piranha. Gone. It's I killed. <laughs> in the first session. <laughs> it's it's definitely not a I mean, shark, a but wear. um Jeffrey's gonna be a were shark. It's an underwater were spider. <laughs> uh Jeffrey, go ahead and do a, a, a either a nature check or Hey, you had no idea of knowing that that was gonna happen, alright? I had to test it out. Okay, what? Do what? Go ahead and do a nature check or an intelligence check, or even a wisdom check. Nature check. Nature is intelligent. What if I can I do animal handling check? 
No. <laughs> I teach it to be nice. What if I... Uh, well, I don't know what it is. Maybe I should know what it is first. Let's do... Uh, 16. You forgot about the slaughterfish. Slaughterfish? Slaughterfish. Oh, good God. <laughs> I'm going to... Do I know if there's many slaughterfish? Are you not going to call for help? <laughs> Usually they swim in schools. Mm. Let's see here. Uh, it's a point we don't go swimming into shit water. Exactly. <laughs> Well, I'm not sure if you know this, but Jeffrey is really someone who likes to learn. <laughs> yeah, that's not helpful. It's true, though. It's the truth. So I guess I just die. No. I you can try to anything. you can try to outswim them, or you can try to swim back to your uh, boat. Um. Um. We can start rowing rowing towards him. I'm swimming away, I guess. Okay. Uh, are you swimming toward shore or toward the boat? Uh, toward shore. Towards shore. Okay. Um. So go ahead into an athletics check. Maybe she needs some new sugar too. <laughs> Um, okay. You know I did nothing about this game, right? Or I know nothing about this game. Athletics. So you that's... played Skyrim, Jeffrey. What are you talking about? Huh? I played Skyrim. Oh my god. You guys are idiots. Uh, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> so, with proficiency, I'm at 20. You're not at 20? Natural. Yeah, not natural 20. Okay. Um, you're able to swim fast enough to try to outswim the fish. Um, and you come up sopping wet, ash, cling ash clinging to your clothes, um, amid a camp with a cold, dead, uh, fire pit. Sweet. Nice Damn. <laughs> okay. Uh, give me a moment. I was trying to send you a picture of a slaughter fish, but Discord's having troubles with it. Wait, are we all on the shore now? Because I'm pretty sure, like, I said we roll, we roll over there, right? Repeat? I got there first, so. Okay, alright. Well, we're gonna roll. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll over there, so, yeah. Yes, row, rowing over there. Row, 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 row. I can't, I can't, can't, can't tell, like, can't do the rolls. Give Thanks me a moment, guys. I... Yes, we will. Give me a moment, guys. I think I'm going to have to restart Discord. So I will be right back. Bye. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, recording's back on. Lesson. There we go. And for those who are watching, that terrifying thing is a slaughterfish. Um, and they usually okay. travel in schools. So, all right. Oh, so, Jeffrey. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so you've managed to get I up. I thought you were going to send a picture of the camp somehow. And I was like, are you just going to send a generic fire pit? And then now I understand. <laughs> no, if I were to do that, I probably would have, uh, I probably would have uh, just taken like a, a picture from in Elder Scrolls Online. Um, but I would have. I, <laughs> I definitely would have. Um, when you get Dang, to the camp... Would've. Uh, the fire pit is cold, um, and... Yeah, you said it's cold, dead. Cold and dead. Um, it looks like a few of the tents that had been pitched were absolutely shredded. Um, and on the ground nearby, you see what looks like, uh, what used to be an Argonian, but he's been oh, practically, shit, practically torn to shreds. Um... Damn. Okay. Um, 
there there is a bedroll and a backpack nearby um and a small chest if you would like to explore them i'd like to go through all of that okay uh go ahead and uh, cho choose all what you would like to start with first backpack backpack backpack, backpack. <laughs> um backpack. you find a bedroll um you find a little bit of rope um I find in... more of a bedroll besides the other bedroll. Yes. So um, many bedrolls. You find uh, you find a bag. You you got lucky. You 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 open up the bag and you find fifty three septums inside. Nice. Woo. I also don't know how much I started with. Oh wait, none because I was a prisoner. So. <laughs> All right. um, wait, you said bedroll fifty three septums and what else? Um, that's what oh, I'm. Rope. Rope. Yeah, some rope. I forgot. And you also find a small pouch that has about um it's got two stones in it. Uh both of which have uh, some sort of rune etched into it. Um Okay. As a bard, you have enough understanding of magic to know that these little stones um, could possibly use it could possibly be used to help you with enchanting stuff. Sweet. Sweet. You're not sure what these runes, uh, what these runes translate to or not, as you haven't really tried your hand at enchanting yet. But you know that mm -hmm. practice makes perfect. Okay. Um, at this point the. The rest of the group catches up and pulls up ashore and sees this rather horrific and gory sight. Well, we're better than nothing. Take a sip Guys, of the drink. Look at all this horrendous destruction. Can I loot the chest? <laughs> yes, you can loot the chest. In fact, it's while you're going through the chest that the group pulls up. Okay. So you guys you guys <laughs> see. You guys see an Argonian whose guts have been strewn across the place, uh, shredded tents, empty fire pit, and your dark elf friend just shuffling through all of the Argonian's belongings. Mine, 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 mine. Hey, free stuff and free food. Okay. Today <laughs> <laughs> is a great day. Now. Let's warm it up. <laughs> oh good god. Are there any other like, you know, bags or something like that? Or barrels or whatever? Um, a, a couple of other like small bags here and there. It looks like there might have been a couple of other people who were here, but you don't see any sign of them other than uh their leftover gear. Uh, the Argonian? Don't eat the Argonian? Why not? Duncan, I'll, I'll no. look through one of the back. I need it. Duncan is secretly a worshipper of Namira. <laughs> hey, it's not cannibalism. None of us are Argonian, so it's fine. <laughs> Whoa. Well, Gosh, I want to look through, Gosh, I want to look through one of the bags. <laughs> okay. Um, inside the bag, Reven, you find... Uh, you find seven. Dice. You find seven septums. Um, mm -hmm. and you, you find another pouch with, uh, with herbs in it. Oh, great. Would you like okay. to try to... Okay, perfect. Um, so what you find in terms of herbs is, um, you find four, it looks like four pieces of dried nirn root. Um, the, the familiar blue color is... Uh, unmistakable. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. And you find um, four pieces of dried stinkhorn mushroom. Mm. Okay. So... Yeah. Um, Jeffrey. Yes. Inside the chest, you find uh, you find an, Ar an Argonian-style dagger. Um, it's made of, it's made of flint, uh, that's been chipped away into a rather sharp and 
in a in an almost primitive manner, beautiful uh, weapon. Okay. Um, and your hand tingles when you touch it. Oh, I love tingly hands. <laughs> It's a it's the signature tingle of uh, of a weapon that might actually be enchanted, and I was you can even ask if I could do an Arcana check. Yeah, I, you don't even have to do an Arcana check. Enchanted weapons okay. aren't that uncommon. Um, okay. so Zira, um, go ahead and make an investigation check for me. She's gonna be the little girl detective. <laughs> Okay, so you see a lot of claw marks in the Argonian and what appear to be um, teeth marks. Um, whatever did this, it had a very wide mouth um, and smaller claws. Um, and probably was either aggravated or, uh, or bothered. It looks like it might have initially started off as a self-defense and then turned into, uh, eating the Argonian. Um, reptilian paw prints, uh, lead away toward the mountain. Well, <laughs> okay, so she's in that ghost. Yeah. Uh, Zoe, you said you were going to start up a fire? Are you going to start the fire? What was that, Haley? I'd like to start up a fire. Just hang out. Okay. You can start the fire. Um... <laughs> You're able to find some some pieces of wood and some uh, and some dried fungus that can be used as kindling, uh, and and you manage to get a decent fire going. Um, Tashtar, what would you like to do amid all of this? Um, hmm. I'm going to use Mage Hand to go sifting through the Argonian's body to see if there's anything worth eating. <laughs> Ew. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> go ahead and do a, an arcana check or otherwise a nature check. Uh, I'll even allow medicine if you've got that. Uh, all of them give me are the same for me, so it doesn't matter. Well, I, I will need to know what skill you choose because that'll help determine. Okay. Um, I'll do arcana. Why not? I will do. Okay, so you definitely managed to slide your mage hand into the corpse, um, and you pull it back and manage to pull out, like, part of the heart, um, even some what's left of, some of what's left of the liver, um, and you're pretty sure that there's still enough meat on the limbs that you might be able to cut them off and roast them. Fun. <laughs> um... So, as he's doing that, you guys see him start to, like, spit-roast um, chunks of Argonian. Um, <laughs> Zira comes over and starts explaining what she finds uh, amid the, you know, gore and destruction. Okay, um, what do you guys think? You guys think it's safe to stay here? Uh... Why don't we ask the Argonian? Wow. <laughs> I'll take it as a no, okay? So I don't know what other choice that we're gonna have here. Whoever it is, it probably might be gone for all we know. And I take a sip of my drink. <laughs> um, wait, so can it be repeated what Zira noticed? Because Bob is saying that she relays yeah. what happened. Uh, we'll, we'll let Zira explain in her words. Okay. I mean, you can. I'm just thinking it's 
would probably be a lot of typing. That's all. Yeah. Take your time. Take your time, Dara. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, take your time. <laughs> I can treat it that way. She points at the path this took. And where is this path leading? Um, it's where leading. Is... It's leading up toward the mountain. Okay. I would hope it wouldn't come down without a reason to. I, for one, would like the chance to get a nice meal in my belly. Some delicious Argonian. Well, I'm gonna go try to catch a fish. I'm not sure about the Argonian. <laughs> I friends for Argonian. Yeah. More for me then. <laughs> okay, so Zoe. Um I think it's best to relax here and you know and you know, just the wait for or not wait for it to come, but it's probably not gonna come anyway. We'll be fine. So Zoe, um how are you going to fish? Are you going to try to fashion a fishing pole, or are you going to try to, uh, classic claw and paw? I want a classic claw and paw. Okay. But if that doesn't work, I'm going to electrocute the water, and then use mage hand to just scoop it up on the shore. <laughs> Brilliant. Like um, go well, ahead I'm and... If it doesn't work, because I want to look like a cool cat. <laughs> go ahead <laughs> and either... Cutie. Either do an agility check or a, um, I'll say a nature check. Okay. I'll do... Twenty-four. You actually managed to, you actually managed to catch a few little fish and even, uh, even a little bit of, uh, the best description that can be give, given is it looks almost like lobster. Not quite small enough to be crayfish, but not quite large enough to be lobster. Yeah, there are crab. Everyone gets a snack. Yeah. Okay. I'm not crab. Right, I'm gonna like excitedly bring these up to Tashdar and be like, I got some. Like, I'm ready. Make some room on the fire. <laughs> I scoot over and give like a thumbs up. <laughs> Josh, is is there a rock so lobster? Is my question. <laughs> Is it safe to assume there's probably, like, a semi-large stick around here? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. In, in fact, uh, even, even Zira's working on making a spear, so... Could I mm -hmm. grab a large stick and tie my Argonian dagger to the end of it and then go spear fishing? <laughs> oh, yes, God. you can. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> okay. So, so you guys have time. Uh, Zira, you definitely have time to make a couple of spears, um... Zoe went fishing. Jeffrey, I would like you to make a uh, dexterity uh, a dexterity attack um, as you find a delicious-looking so mud crab along the shore. Dexterity attack. That'd be agility, right? Agility, yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's just basic modifier on top of what I roll out of a d20? Yeah. Um, if you have proficiency uh, with... With uh, if you have proficiency with um, uh, with simple weapons, you can add your proficiency modifier to it as well. Uh, um, I don't know if I wrote that down. If I did, it would be under I your have proficiencies. Light armor, long blade, short blade, marksman. So probably not. Yeah, you you, you wouldn't have the uh. Proficiency okay, to it. So I rolled a nineteen, and then it's plus two, so it's a twenty-one total. Um, it apparently uh, fishing for our uh, fishing for Argonians. Um, like there's the Argonians are just randomly swimming underneath the sea. <laughs> Survivors from that ship, quick spear <laughs> um, Fishing for mud crabs, you find, is a very fun pastime. So you manage to you manage to easily spear the mud crab as it tried to rush up and like snap at you. Um, so you know that you're going to have a delicious meal of crab legs today. Mm, delicious. 
delicious. Duncan. Delicious. Yes. You take a bite out of some delicious Argonian. Great. <laughs> so th- no, great. It can be no bad consequences for this whatsoever. If you guys give me a moment, I am going to yeah, guys, send we'll Duncan some stuff. Sierra <laughs> is correct. It's probably poisoned. <laughs> Oh, okay. it's, it's not the lizard that killed him, it was poison that killed him. Yep. Clearly, because he's ripped apart, but it was the poison that ended him. <laughs> hey, it's gonna happen. He would have survived as half an Argonian. Maybe the. <laughs> Maybe, like, um, he died with the poison before, like, the lizard ate him. You know? The then that way. Poisonous. I like how in this circumstance, the, the lizard is like the most patient hunter ever. He just scratches him and leaves him alone for hours to die. <laughs> and then he eats him. Well, he just had, didn't notice yet. <laughs> He'll be all cold and everything. It'll be all cold. Maybe he likes it cold. Yeah. He's yeah. a cold blood. He's you cold blooded. Good you make a good point. Like beef jerky. What? Beef jerky, you know, it's kind of cold. He's cold blooded like beef jerky. <laughs> no, I no, I think I mean like you know how beef jerky is kind of cold. You know, it, it probably tastes like that. Yeah, but your your sentence structure went. He's cold blooded like beef jerky. <laughs> no, I, uh, I had a period after cold blooded. <laughs> okay, so. so- the Khajiit is chowing down on Argonian. The other Khajiit is chowing down on a, an assortment of fish and small crustaceans. Um, Lilith comes up and starts cooking up some mud crab. The mud crab was actually a decent size, so if anybody else hasn't been able to get food and um, doesn't wa- doesn't wish to uh, dine on Argonian, uh, they can eat that. Does anybody else take any bites of Argonian? Oh, fuck no. I'm good. I've already made my stance on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll take some of that mud crap, please. <laughs> Alright, I'll give Reven some rope. <laughs> some rum? Is mud that what you crab. said? I started to say rub. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you some mud crab and then I'll give you a rub down. Okay. A rub and tug? <laughs> Um, who was rifling through the other knapsacks from the other people? I want to, um, see, look through more of the sacks. You luck out. You, you managed to find a little bit of garlic and a little bit of butter. So you could even melt it down and make some garlic butter for dipping the mud crab legs in. Yeah, Reven, that you does have sound to good. share the garlic butter now. <laughs> well, I am a good chef, so, you know, I, I can- share I... the mud crab. You gotta share the garlic butter. <laughs> I will, I will. Don't worry. Um, Zira. Uh, in the knapsack, Zira, you you find three septums. Um, and you find a small gem. Um, it kind of glows faint blue. And in your hand, it kind of thrums with some sort of latent energy. Um, the only time you've ever seen these is in the hands of enchanters and mages. So, logically, she should give it to one of the three magic users. <laughs> okay, so um, then in that case, go ahead and add a petty soul gem to your inventory. It's my favorite kind of soul gem. <laughs> mm-hmm. So what else would you guys like to do while you guys make camp here? Would you like to stay the night, or do you plan on hunting Maybe whatever have did a this bit to the Argonian? More conversation, you know, like chill out. Yeah, it's up to you guys. Alright. How'd your Argonian turn out? Um, what? How'd your Argonian turn out? Wonderfully. <laughs> As he's like bleeding profusely. Want to try a bit of my fish? Yes. Uh, <laughs> Aww, how gosh. Mm-hmm. All food is have, food. I will have a question 
in a mirror whenever this page loads. Okay. <laughs> Actually, whenever I can find this. <laughs> but anyways, I have a question at some point. Okay. Just giving you a heads up. Yeah. Okay, so uh, do you guys want to stay the stay the night as the... Uh, it's been a very eventful day for you guys. Um, after kind of going through and exploring through this... Uh, through this camp, the sun's starting to glow red um, on the western horizon, um, and it's starting a, to set. I have a, um, a request. Yes. Is there any mud crabs being scuttle boys nearby? Nearby. There are, uh, yeah, there are, there are a few groups of mud crabs kind of scuttling oh around God, on the sh on the shore. Feel awful. Wait, can I? Can I ask, um, hang on, I need to look at the names. Can I ask, wait, what? Oh, it's not showing me. Okay, anyways, can I ask Zoe, um, if she has a little bit of fish left? You want and some of my if fish? I can have some? Yes, you can okay. have some. So I would like to take the fish and look for a mud crab nearby. Is there a mud mm -hmm. crab nearby? There are mud crabs nearby. Okay, can I go up to the mud crab and use animal friendship and offer it a piece of fish? Because I don't want to offer it a piece of mud crab. <laughs> yes, you may. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do that. So, uh, wait, is he a smart boy or a stupid boy? Mud crabs in general. <laughs> mud crabs in general just tend to be derps. <laughs> Is his intelligence four or higher? No. <laughs> okay, sweet. Um, do I have to roll for this? I I will say no. Derpy boy. Okay, so uh, the boy must make must succeed on a wisdom saving throw. Do you want to do that or? And to answer your question, it's a shellfish boy. <laughs> um, mud crab fails the saving throw. Okay, so he is my boy now. I am charm unsurprised. Boy. So, boy. A charm boy for so, 24 hours. So, so Lilith walks away, and you guys are <laughs> dining and doing your thing, and then she comes back, and you see this mud crab just scuttling around, uh, scuttling along right behind her. Yeah. And when she sits down, it just kind of chills over by her. Can I pet him? You can um, pet him. What are you? Crab boy. Did that mud crab just follow you? Yes. He's my boy. Why did you make friends with dinner? He's not <laughs> dinner. I had dinner. I ate his brother. Oh, and now I'm the weird one for eating stuff. Okay. All right. Fine. Listen, you I ate, ate not a dead body. <laughs> you not... ate something and then you became friends with it. How is this any different? I didn't. Okay. Now you're making it sound like I murdered a mud crab, ate it, and then became friends with its dead body. Okay. It's a completely different mud crab. <laughs> I didn't, I'm trying to say here. I didn't eat it any I didn't feed it any other mud crab, okay? So it's not as fucked up as what you're doing. It's still fucked up, but it's not as fucked up. <laughs> this I is take a drink. Contest. I take a little sip of my drink. Um, I have a I have a further follow-up question that I should probably ask. Mm -hmm. Do mud crabs require water to live? Um they they're capable of living both on land and in water. They do prefer to have some sort of access to water every now and then so they can breathe. Okay. Um, but but just like breathe? well, just Does like that it, not mean that they need it? um, just like real world crabs, um, mud crabs are capable of breathing of breathing water and then coming up onto land for extended periods of time. because uh, they hold onto water inside their bodies and they breathe with that. Um. Would I have any sort of like container to have water in that could possibly a mud crab could fit into and or I could keep a mud crab in? Uh you find a bowl and a oh you find a bowl and you find a pot among the Argonians' belongings. Okay, I'm gonna You're go get water. <laughs> I'm gonna go get water and I'm gonna put it in the bowl and then I'm gonna put crab boy in the bowl. <laughs> no, not put it in the pot. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in the pie. Why do you fuckers no. gonna murder him? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you're, 
I'm, I'm ready to go. No, I'm going to train bird. him. I'm going to train him so when the spell ends, he will still be mine. <laughs> I got, I got, I still got the butter still. No. <laughs> Go catch another mud crab. Okay. So you guys, okay, I'll see if I can find another one. You guys I begin to. Uh... Out of the goodness of my heart, Reven, how dare you? <laughs> you will protect this mud crab with your life, or I will kill you. <laughs> you guys bed down for the night. Um, who would like to take first shift for keeping okay. watch? Mud crab and I will. Okay. I'll or if that. Reven wants to go first, she can go first. Well, I already volunteered to go first, but if you want, you can. Okay. Uh, Chulinac. But with mud crab, I have double mm -hmm. perception. Um, <laughs> oh my god. It's a fairly quiet That's shift happy. for you. Um, every now and then, you'll hear rumblings from the mountain in the distance. Um, and Lilith snoring. <laughs> How dare you. Um, mud crab is snoring. <laughs> The fire kind of burns down a little bit. You stoke it up a little bit so that it stays it stays hot and warm through the night. Um, mm -hmm. But otherwise, fairly uneventful. Okay. Uh, second shift. Okay. If there is one. So, <laughs> your shift also, Jeffrey, is uh, fairly quiet. Um, okay. uh, again, rumblings in the distance from the mountain. Uh, um Okay, before my shift ends, go ahead and keep talking, but before my shift ends, I want to do something. So. Okay, uh, go ahead. Hang on, I'm reading. <laughs> oh, God. Jeffrey uh, Reed, how unexpected. I'm oh, God, I don't know. Uh, well, because I want to speak with animals. <laughs> but <laughs> his knowledge and awareness may be limited by his intelligence, and we already know he's pretty stupid. So, <laughs> I'm just gonna speak with him, and mm -hmm. I'm just gonna say good. Because I'm assuming <laughs> maybe he can understand good. You're a good boy. You're a you're good a boy. Good, I'll say you're a good boy and hope he understands that, because he is a good boy. He makes a weird little mud crab chirping, or not chirping, but, uh, uh, Chirping. Click uh, a, hap crab a, a happy mud crab <laughs> clicking noise. <laughs> oh, that's very cute. <laughs> Too bad we're gonna eat. Too no. bad we're gonna eat. I'm gonna eat you, Raven. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you, and Duncan's gonna eat your body. Because <laughs> that's just apparently what Duncan does. Hey, meat is meat. <laughs> Who's I mean, the next? Well, I don't uh, think or to be honest, I don't think orcs are very tasty, so... Who would like the next shift? Me. Uh, I'll take it. Oh. Okay, rock, paper, scissors, guys. <laughs> rock. Rock, paper, scissors over the internet. Wait, what if I do... Okay, let's see. Here. Here. Let's do this. Duncan is a 1 to... <laughs> Duncan is a 1 to 10, and... Uh, Zoe or... is a... Or you guys, down. or you guys can both roll a d twenty, and whoever has highest goes first. <laughs> I want to do that. Okay. I got thirteen. Fight! 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 Two. All right. What <laughs> <laughs> well, you no get more sleep, Duncan? Okay. So Zoe. <laughs> um, it, it's now kind of the the middle of the night. Um. It's a good thing you're a Khajiit. You can see fairly well in the dark. That's right. Um, That's right. Do Dunmer have good night sight? Uh, not as good no. as Khajiit. Okay. But generally pretty good? Yeah. Kind of. Um, so, off in the distance, you hear what sounds like a loud uh, horn. Uh, and... When you turn to to peer off into peer out into the distance from where that sound came from, you see this weird wheel form in the sky and chains drop down and uh and like embed themselves into the earth further down the coast. Um, you're not sure what's going on, but that is most definitely not natural. How close is it to us? Um, it's several miles away. So it's like you're you're only able to see the 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 wheel and the chains drop. 
I'm going to poke the other Khajiit. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like, hey, hey, you see that? Yeah. All right, so I'm not still high. Good. <laughs> That's the main concern here. <laughs> Josh, does my mud crab wake up? Uh, no, your mud crab is uh is burbling softly in sleep. Okay. Oh. <laughs> um, so that leads us to Zira for our final watch. Uh, uh, so we're just gonna let that go. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna let that go. All right. We've Can accepted I just have a it tonight. To make sure I'm not making up stories <laughs> in the middle of the night. Okay. <laughs> So the possibly horrific thing that's happening over there is just cool, as long as someone else sees it. <laughs> yeah, it's not me. You're like, sweet, I'm not crazy. All right, night. Yeah, good night. Um, when when you go to wake Zira, um, the 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 weird thing off in the distance is still there, but shortly after you take watch, Zira, um, the the chains appear to snap and retract back into the wheel. And it starts spinning really quickly before you hear a loud boom off in the distance, and the wheel disappears. Great. Does anyone wake up to the boom? I wake up to the boom. You're not the DM. <laughs> it, it's distant <laughs> enough. It, it's distant enough to where if you're passed out, it doesn't wake you. What the shit? Why is all the interaction with the cast? Yeah, why? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Good thing sneaky. I'm sneaky too, actually. I have to have a self check, so. <laughs> I can go look. Yeah, it's it's several well, miles away, so it would well, take it would take some traveling. <laughs> Yes, because when one of the cats tried to b bluff the prison guard, it went so well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So the sun is beginning to rise in the east. Um, <clears throat> the ash fall has kind of let up for a little bit. Um, but the the smoke still the smoke still billows up from uh, is still billows up from the mountain. Um, so. Would you guys like to continue down the coastline toward where that strange wheel appeared, or, um, or did you want to investigate the mur murder death kill from the animal, or what Wait, would you like to do? Kill from the animal. Uh, well, whatever Duncan killed the Argonian ate. that uh, whatever whatever oh, killed okay, the God. Argonian that Duncan ate. <laughs> I think we should leave and go to another side along the shore. Yeah, follow, go where the wheel was. Let's find out what that was all about. I'm really curious about it. And no I know curiosity or we will die. <laughs> but it could be cool. Just because it's cool doesn't mean it's safe. Do you guys relate what you saw in regards to the wheel to Lilith and Julianak? Oh yeah, I would probably tell them when they got up, like, hey, so we didn't die, but during my watch there was a weird wheel that showed up in the sky. I did my job. <laughs> Wait, so are we awake or are we still asleep? You guys are awake now. Okay. And she told us this? Mm-hmm. And you guys didn't tell us at all? Or just, like, woke us up when we can? <laughs> I mean, you just got off of your watch. I assumed you were tired. You want me to wake you up with things that aren't important. I'm an orc. I don't really get tired. Why, how did you fall asleep? How did I fall asleep? I just took a short nap. <laughs> anyways, anyways, I think... I don't know if it's safe or not, but... <laughs> yeah, or go anywhere else in San Rio. Um, um, I don't think... In one of the satchels, you guys do find a map of Morrowind. Oh, well, that's definitely very helpful. Yeah, it's it's not a very large map by any means. It's just the um, the southern portion of Morrowind, the the Stone Falls region. Um, so you can see you can see on the map where Davin's Watch is, where you had come from, 
Um, you know that if you follow the coastline along the mountain to the west, you could potentially even reach the city of Ebonheart. Um, you also know that further further off to the uh, to the west, uh, there is Heimlin Keep um, and also Kragenmoor. Um, as well as Fort Virok to the far uh, to the far west, um, and you also know that if you were to continue traveling westward, you could even uh, enter the the Rift region of Skyrim. Um, traveling southward would lead you to Deshan, uh, which kind of is where uh, it starts becoming more like Black Marsh, uh, where the Argonians came from. Um, if you were to try to travel uh, further east, um, it, it would take you into the small region of Balfoyan, uh, another part of Morrowind. In answer to your question, Zira, um, any place where there is uh, a civilization, you might be able to find some leads, possibly. Um, you don't know how well people will take your guys' presence because you don't know how upstanding the bounty was on all of you. Oh, um, good God. You do know that it was upstanding enough to where they were going to uh, execute all of you. Um, but given the chaos with the, with the invasion force, um, you're not sure if it's been forgotten or if you guys have been pre presumed dead. There's just no knowing until you reach uh, civilization. Um, but, uh, and, and as far as where to find the guy you're looking for, same thing. You'd, you'd want to find a lead somewhere. I'm still curious about the chain thing. Mm -hmm. No, we got a lead. The chain, the chain thing is on the way to Ebonheart. Uh, Zira, yes, there is. Um, there are uh, there. There's a couple of weathered uh, traveling cloaks uh, amid the packs. Okay. So, do we have an idea as far as where we want to go? Do Where's the closest town? Maybe they know something about the chains guy. You guys are about midway between Davin's Watch and Ebonheart. Mm. Um, to the southeast, there's the town of Sini. Um, but you'd have to go all the way around the mountain for that, um, and possibly back through Davin's Watch. Who did the LS button? Um, Zira, uh, by safer, in what context are you referring? Path of Least Resistance would probably be traveling along the coast toward Ebonheart. Um, because going backward, you'd be uh, heading back to Davin's Watch, and you're not sure if the siege has broken yet. Um, going around the mountain can be perilous because it is an active volcano, um, and the the overall terrain is fairly... Une uh, like, it's difficult terrain. Um, it's a little bit easier to travel westward, but there's still... The risk of wild animals, um, bandits, possibly even uh, other patches of difficult terrain, not to mention the creepy wheel in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. Yes, we sure do. Yeah, let's go the opposite of that direction. Yes, please. <laughs> no more trail. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 
So I'm guessing you guys head westward then. Yes. More west. More west. Okay. To the west. So you guys pack up and begin to head out. Do you want to take the boat or would you like to travel over land? I'm going land. Who's on, on the boat near the shore? I'm sorry? Huh? Because I thought we were taking the boat. The <laughs> boat's pretty cool. Yeah, let's take the boat. Like... Take the boat. Take the boat. Take the <laughs> boat. Take the boat. <laughs> I'm gonna walk with my mud crab. Okay. I mean, if you want what? to take the, if you want to take the mud crab on the boat, you can. Yeah. I'm gonna walk. Okay. <laughs> that way, you don't risk losing your mud crab. <laughs> yes. You could tie it up and have you can float actually swim behind the boat. Oh my I think I can swim <laughs> free, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. So, who's taking the boat and who's walking? I'll take the boat. Jeffrey, Jeffrey and Scuttles are walking. Yes. <laughs> Scuttles, oh my god. Is actually Pierre, thank you. Ah, Pierre. <laughs> Pierre. Is he a French crab? Yes. <laughs> um, Tosh Star, Zoe, what are, what are your plans? Probably walking. Okay. I kind of want to take the boat. Okay, so you can take the boat. Hey, I got a cat. You and Julian, uh, you and Julianette can be on the boat. Uh, Sierra, where would you? Uh, how would you like to travel? Okay. So, we've got two people on land and the rest on the boat. So, uh, well, two people and a, two people and a crab. Um, two people and a mud crab. <laughs> How many people does it require to row it? Uh, it could be rowed by one person. It's easier with two, but... Okay. I well, I'm doing that. I can, like, do it myself. <laughs> uh, how far away will the boat be from us while we're walking? Um, to avoid hitting rocks, you'd probably be maybe a good 50 feet out. Okay. Damn. Um, I'm going to cast Unseen Servant to help them while they're rowing while we're walking. Okay. Oh, so, you. yeah. It hits um, us, too. Uh, Unseen Servant is is just there on the boat to help oh, them row. okay, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. So basically, the, boat's, right. the boat looks like it's rowing itself. Um, <laughs> for at least an hour. Yeah. And so, I can like help whatever ghost is like helping me out. <laughs> <laughs> um, make sure we can. So you guys travel and uh, travel along. It's fairly uneventful. Um, however, um, Lilith. Yes. As you're walking, would you like to attempt to find um any natural resources or anything like that? Sure. Yes. Okay, go ahead and do a nature check for me. I would also allow Arcana. Uh, they are both the same to me, so it does not matter. Uh, I do need to know which skill you choose. I know. Uh, <laughs> I will do nature, because I'm going for natural resource. Nat 20! <laughs> very nice, very nice. Oh, Plus 2, so it's a 22. <laughs> Okay. Dang. Um, it was on 19, so I was like, I'm going to get a horrible roll, and then it just went to 20. <laughs> um, so as you're walking, you manage to collect, um, you, you find a nice little strand of, uh, of Blessed Thistle. So you get nine sprigs of Blessed Thistle. Okay, hang on. Let me write this down, because I'm assuming I'll need to know this for crafting. Mm. Okay. Um, three, uh, three um, mushrooms. They're they're all three blue and kind of glow slightly. You recognize them as violet coprinus. 
Okay. And last but not least, okay. um, your ears pick up the telltale uh, humming of Nernroot. So you manage to find a piece of fresh Nernroot as well. Sweet, some nerd root. <laughs> nerd root. All right. It's a root that can turn you into um, a big nerd. Are any, any of these edible slash tasty? You can taste them if you'd like. Um, uh, you've seen enough alchemist taste uh, ingredients to try to learn what they can do. Okay, can I taste a blessed thistle and hope it doesn't murder me? Yes, you may. Um... You, you you place a well, piece of time to maybe die. <laughs> um, remove one of your blessed thistles, and okay. um, as you place the as you place the bitter leaves into your mouth, um, you they ting it, it causes your mouth to tingle just a little bit, but not unpleasantly. Um, okay. And you actually feel slightly reinvigorated. Um, Do I feel blessed? Would you say? Uh, not blessed, but your best guess would be that you uh, that it likely can help restore health uh, if mixed properly in a potion. Okay. Do I know anything about the mushrooms, or must I also taste the mushrooms? You must also taste them. You must taste the shrooms. Can I, like, taste half of one? Or um, I have to eat the whole thing? It's not going to be a major effect. You, you'd have to eat the whole thing, uh, a la Elder Scrolls style. So, all right, I'll eat the mushroom as well. Um, you suddenly feel yourself drained, like your sensitivity to magic it, it has waned a little bit. Um, so your guess would be that uh, it might have a ravage magica effect. Damn. So that's that could be useful for making poisons to use against Trying mages. To find something to feed my boy, but I'm just killing myself <laughs> okay the effects don't last very long maybe a, a minute me die than him die <laughs> fine my mud crab will live on okay well i've updated the numbers accordingly to what i've es essentially eaten uselessly so mm -hmm. <laughs> done okay so after maybe a couple of hours of rowing and picking your way along the coastline, you get closer to where you think the uh, chains had dropped from the sky. Mm -hmm. And on the horizon, you can see some sort of structure um, kind of built in a, in a circular kind of uh, fashion around it. Um, and as you guys get closer, you see uh, that it's built up Pretty much, it, it's it's a dolmen, uh, a series of rocks that have been uh, stacked up on top of one another um, and centered around a large, almost like hollow, uh, stone hollow uh, cylinder uh, in the middle where, uh, where it looks like the chains might have anchored. Um, and you guys can see runes have been carved into some of the stones around it. Um, you guys can, you guys all get up pretty close to it without any issue. Um, if you'd like to make investigation or arcana checks, you may. Okay, I'm well, going to, just make, because I wanna. Uh, Does that I'll make people? arcana. And I will make investigation. I got a 14. Okay. And I got a 7. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, the, the boat goes ashore. Okay. What was that, Haley? If it, I wanted to know if the role included boat people so I can make an arcana roll. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, 14 for me. Okay. We matched! <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, actually, I rolled a 14, so I guess technically it's... We don't match. We'll see what happens. Damn it, we don't match. I got six. Damn minutes. it! Dang I it, I got a thing. high roll! Damn. Hey, I'd like to match more. <laughs> okay, so I'll start. Arcana. I'll I'll start with investigation. Um, who all rolled investigation checks again? Uh, I rolled one. Okay. I did and Bob. So so, uh, so Tashtar and Bob. Yep. Okay. Uh, Tashtar, what was your roll again? 
It was a. It was a seventeen. No, okay. Was okay not you. So Toshdar, the most you're able to make out um, amid all of this, like you can see some bodies littered here and there. Uh, some of them look like they were in combat, and then others look like they might have been uh, killed uh, killed ritually, uh, like some sort of sacrifice. Um, Zira, as you're going through and looking around. Um, you see that one of the daggers that were one of the ceremonial daggers that had been used, um, it has a very similar, um, a very similar design to what you've seen before, um, and even some of the uh, some of the uh, the herbs and stuff, uh, herbs and stuff, the magical items that were placed here match very closely to some of the rituals that you had seen before. Yeah, the, the kinds of things that that dude had done. Good old that dude. That dude. Who could forget him? Anything. Why not? <laughs> Really? Okay, then. Uh, what do we do? Just uh, touch it? So both of our mages got the same roll? Uh, no, I accidentally rolled two higher, so I'm at a 16. Okay. So, uh, honestly, it's close enough that you two both kind of make out a lot of the similar things. Those runes that you see on there um, are Daedric. Mm -hmm. Um... And Jeffrey, um, upon closer inspection, you see mentions of uh, mentions of a place called Cold Har uh, Cold Harbor, um, okay. and which you know to be a a, a plain in oblivion. Um, I do know that absolutely. Yeah, um, and here and there, you guys also see the name uh, Molag Bal carved into the stones here and there. Okay. So, from what you guys can gather, this was, uh, like, at one point, this place likely was being used as a ritual place um, to worship Molag Bal. You're not sure what connection it might have with the wheel in the sky that keeps on turning, um, but you're pretty sure... you're pretty sure that it must have been connected in some way. You're just not sure how. I already have a theory right now <laughs> <laughs> of what it is, actually. <laughs> so do you guys share the information you all have learned with one another? Yeah. Um, Dara, like, told me that, you know, that it was just dark magic. Unless she's typing something out that's saying that it's for, like... Every, everyone. She told everyone? Says, okay, tell, tell everyone every, if you- I tell oh. everyone not to touch anything. This is dark magic, and nothing good will come of it. It doesn't say I tell Reven not to touch it. Well, she didn't just tell me. I mean, but she's on the boat with me. No, we're not. We're on the shore. No, I meant her- I meant Zara and- Wait, are we all on the shore? Yeah. We're all yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I don't know why it's only being said to you in your mind. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't hear it. I think I cut out. I think it's cut out when that happened. It's Anyways, all good. All right. It's all good. Um, it's all good. <laughs> well, at least I know now that we're on shore. <laughs> yeah. Zira is speaking. Do we want to destroy this uh, this building then? Can we destroy this building? The That's stone. Much about your question. While there are a few stones. While there are a few stones that were stacked up, for the most part, this looks like it was—it's been carved into the uh, into the living rock of the uh, of the earth. We need ex probably not the best idea. I don't have any ex.
all the Zira types. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, like, let's, let's finish her typing and stuff like that. See what she has to say. <laughs> I'm down for more traveling. Work. Tiny fist spalled up, scowl on her face. <laughs> she looks better than <laughs> okay, okay, little one, just calm down, all right? But I think we should check, are you sure we can check it out a little more to see what this place is more about? Make sure there's anything important here? Do you guys want to do anything else while you're here? I kind of want to check it out a little more, see if there's anything, like, valuable. Okay, go ahead and do an investigation check again. Alright. Fifteen. Um, some of the bodies have, um, some of the bodies have coin on them. Um, oh. in total, you managed to find about 27 septums. Wow! Um, 20? And here and there, you also see um, pe uh, like shards, pieces of um, pieces of broken soul gems, uh, gems that likely were used up. Okay. Gem All right, and gems. Um, uh, the soul, can, can the pieces, them? the uh, I mean, they're they're fairly recognizable. I mean, you guys saw the soul gem that uh, Zira was able to get a hold of. Um, mm -hmm. In pieces like this, they're not really all that useful for enchanting anymore, but some jewelers will occasionally use them to make jewelry. Um, so you could probably sell them for maybe maybe two septums a pop. How many soul gems? Uh, just like maybe three or four shards. Um, so with nothing really else to do at the, at this dolmen, um, you guys decide to continue heading toward, Eben, toward Ebenhart? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sounds Make like a plan. downtown, walking fast. <laughs> okay. Fast home down. So eventually you guys reach the, you, you guys reach, um, a portion on the coastline where where a path kind of comes out onto a bridge leading toward the main gates of Ebenhart. Um, it's a fairly busy city. Uh, you see people of all races coming and going, uh, merchants, crafters, um, some uh, here and there, a few nobles. Um, and as you as you head into town, you find that the guards don't even spare you a passing glance. Um, the people, so many people come and go here that uh, that your little ragtag band is no different than any other. Um, so, if you'd like, um, you guys have managed to accumulate enough gold to probably uh, stay the night at the Ebony Flask um, uh, local inn. Oh, okay. Um, which will just be ten septums each. Oh, okay. I'm down. Uh, so the only one of us that would have money is the people who stole things? Because we didn't <laughs> start out with any, right? Or yeah, you, could, you guys didn't start off with any gold. Okay, I figured. So how All much right, well, the night? I have enough to stay, so yeah. I'll get a room. Yeah, so it's just ten gold for... Uh, for being able to stay in the inn. Gold? How much is a septum? A septum is one gold. Oh. Um, 
there's not really any other currency that you see in Elder Scrolls. Um, occasionally, septums will be described as being silver or as being gold, um, but really, it's all the same denomination. Okay. Mm. I have eight septums, so we could use some of my money to stay the night here. I have I'll give you a zero. <laughs> I'll pay for Duncan's room. Okay. And I'll pay for anyone else's room if they don't have any septums. <laughs> um, Zira, there actually are quite a few red guards who pass in and out of the town. Usually merchants or um, hired mercenaries and the like. Um, in these northern reaches, you're, while red guards aren't... Um, aren't exceptionally rare like that while they're not exceptionally common they're not so rare as to draw any attention uh e even e even children are aren't that uncommon uh they uh, the guards probably just don't even spare a glance uh, again you're traveling with a band of other people you could have been as far as they know that you could have been adopted by uh, by lilith or uh or by julianak for uh, for whatever reason we're an odd group you, to try to pretend to be. You guys can be my parent. family. I, I'll, I'll be the dead friend. <laughs> but most people won't even ask. Um, <laughs> as, as especially as far as the innkeepers concerned, you guys are paying customers. So. So yeah, you guys are able to take up a room. Um, Yay! Yeah. Who's so, paying for what? Need to know how much money to take off. Wait, is my mud them. crab still with me? Uh, the mud crab is still with you. Yes. <laughs> is my because I charmed it at night, so it's probably getting close to the twenty-four hours. Yeah, you can try charming it again. Um, and if you want to spend maybe four hours, if you want to spend four hours while you're at the inn, you can work on making a permanent uh, enchantment so that you have a permanent mud crab buddy. Yes. I'm doing that. Um, go ahead and do an Arcana check for me. Okay. Wait, hang on. Monkey <laughs> or Daddy, are you paying my <laughs> <laughs> I looked up all of a sudden and that's all I read. I was like, what? <laughs> that's okay. it. Everyone, everyone has to refer to Reven as Orc Daddy now. <laughs> that's, that's the best thing I've ever seen. Um, wait, sorry. What did you ask? I was super uh, distracted. Uh, just a quick, just a quick Arcana, Arcana check. Um, I mean, it would be better to share a room right. sometimes because, like, we need to save up our symptoms. Uh, I have fourteen. Okay. Uh, you successfully managed to make a decent enough charm to uh, last permanently. Um, do I need to use a gem of some sort? You don't need to use a gem. Um, do I need to use some sort of armament? No. It, it's I just an, really it, want to put like a tiny crown or like a tiny like bracelet on him or something. You can fashion you can fashion one. Um but yeah, uh you have a permanent non combat pet. Um so yeah. Oh my god, I have to make him tiny bongo drums. <laughs> tiny bongo drums. Alrighty. So I think this is a good stopping point. Um Yay. Yeah. And for all of you who are watching, thank you so much for uh, for watching. Um we will be picking up again